Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 favorite audio mods for Android. And for my pick as the best one, be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. Alright, now the first app we're going to be going over is Newsoid. Now this is a regular equalizer that has a bunch of different options depending on which type of audio you're listening to. If you go to the main screen, you can see you have an option for line out which is for headphones, built in for the speakers, and wireless if you have a soundbar or any kind of wired, wireless speakers connected to your Android. Now, I'd recommend only using one equalizer at a time. You can see from my notification shade, I have a few open, so be sure to exit out of any other one that you have open before trying a new one out. Now, next up, we're gonna be using uh, Music Volume EQ. Now, this is more like a widget app hybrid. And you can see here that this is all you get when you open the app. You can control your volume right here. And if you hit on EQ, you can see that you have a few presets. If you create your own, I want to save it. You can just hit save preset. And then you have that option available for you anytime you open up the widget. Now you also have a couple other options for virtualizer and bass boost. So you could change those as you like. All right, moving right along, we have Viper for Android, which is a root app. So you will need to have a root of device. And that is only to install the audio driver for it. Now you don't need to flash it through TWRP, it is just a normal APK install, but for full instructions, be sure to check out my other video about fully installing Viper for Android and checking out all the features. Now this comes with a bunch of different options for enhancing your audio, but my favorite is called the Convolver, which allows you to install IRS files and change the sound style. So you can mimic stuff like Dolby Audio or HTC's uh, Boom Sound. To actually install those, you're going to have to search through XDA or just quick Google search, but the Viper Audio team has compiled their own sample pack. And now to install that, you just download the zip that is linked in the full guide over at Gadget Hacks, and then open up ES File Explorer. And your downloads, all you have to do is extract that IRS starter pack, and you can go ahead and copy all of them. And once you have them copied, go back to your SD card, scroll down to Viper for Android, select kernel and then copy all those IRS files into that and then once you go back into Viper for Android you can see under impulse response you select that and now you have all those IRS files as options you go ahead and go through all of those and pick your favorite one and then just apply it this can be applied through the phone speaker headset or Bluetooth if you do not see that option available all you have to do is hit the overflow menu and then select UI setting and change it to expert now, if you actually want to switch from Viper for Android to a different equalizer, all you have to do is go to the overflow menu again and then hit uninstall driver and then it will completely remove with the Viper for Android driver and you will no longer be able to get those audio enhancements and use your different equalizer. Next up, we have Audio FX, aka Max Audio. Now, this is a more simplistic version of Viper for Android. You have the normal equalizer settings along with a max treble and max bass option for your speakers if you switch it to your headphones you also get the option for max bass which is similar to the surround sound setting that you get in other apps and you make it seem like you're at a live performance instead of just listening it through your headphones now again this is also a root app so you will need to have twrp installed on your device in order to flash it because you will need to use a zip in order to install this app. Just be sure to enable it by switching the top um, slider to on or off depending if you want to use audio effects or not. Last up we have Dolby Audio which I have also covered in a separate video so be sure to check out that for full install and feature breakdowns but it is a very simple app all you have to do is open it up and switch between which type of experience you want or create your own through a custom setting and then you can go ahead and move the slider around to your liking and also enable surround virtualizer, dialogue enhancement, and volume leveler um, to your liking just depending on what you prefer from your audio. Now again, this is also a root app so you will need to flash it into TWRP to actually install it onto your device. Alright guys, and for the non-root apps, you are going to need to make sure that it is enabled as your equalizer. Um, the easiest way to do that is to open up any kind of music app go into the settings and then hitting an option for equalizer and go ahead and see here that it brings up the active equalizer that I have on my device. In this case I have audio FX enabled and you can see up top that it is on along with all my different settings that I have set up for it. Okay guys that do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks for my winner and like always be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.